Hi, welcome to ChemTube channel. I'm Jagu Wong. In this video, we do some questions in Pepper 2 structure and essay. Do subscribe our channel, like and share this video with friends. Okay, essay question. Dimitri Mendeleev and Henry Mosley were involved in the development of periodic table of elements. So, step one difference, one difference in terms of arrangement of elements in the periodic table of elements. So, uh, two marks, you need to mention two points. So, you need to mention about the difference uh, between these two uh, chemists. So, as uh, we know that Mendeleev actually arranged the elements, uh, okay, according to increasing of atomic mass okay so meanwhile for the Henry Mosley eh? Henry Mosley he arranged the elements eh, according to increasing of proton number okay so here is the two marks eh, for this question A okay B Table shows the relative atomic mass and the proton number for four elements are P, Q, R, and S. Okay, they are given the relative atomic mass and proton number. So arrange the period uh, elements in the table and label them in the periodic table below. Okay, so meaning that we need to know where is the location of the elements listed here. So first, we need to uh, see the electron arrangement. Okay, so P, ele 11 proton, meaning that 11 electrons, so electron arrangement will be 2, 8, 1. Okay, this one is 2, 8, 3, 2, 8, 5, and 2, 8, 7. So all are in period 3. Okay, then we need to determine the group. Group, we are going to see the valence electrons. Okay, so here we know that okay, one valence electrons means that it is in group one. Okay, this is group 13. Okay, group for uh, 15. This is group 17. Okay. So now we can label it into the periodic table below here. So this is group, uh, this is period 1, period 2, period 3. Yeah? So period 3. So meaning that we need to put it here. Nah. So P, it should be under group 1. Okay, so group 1, P, you label here. Okay, after that, Q is group 13, right? Okay, so Q is here. Then next, R is group 15. Okay, then S is group 17. Okay, so 4 marks. C, diagram 5.2 shows the apparatus to investigate the reactivity of halogens uh, when react with hot iron wool. Okay, then... Um, Table 5.2 shows the observation for the halogen uh, Halogen Y2 and Z2 react with a hot iron wool Okay So you have Y and you have Z Okay Now suggest substance P Okay so P What is the substance P here? This area Okay Yeah So this one actually you have to know Okay, here is the three marks uh, for this question and then the function after that write the chemical equation for the reaction okay so three marks okay suggested answer the p it should be soda lime uh, soda lime okay what is the function it is used to absorb to absorb excess 
poisonous gas uh, okay here refer to halogen uh. okay so this uh, for the reaction okay so iron okay, react with y uh, guess y is a halogen uh, so it forms iron 3 halide so it's y3 so we have to balance the chemical equation this one times 2 the gas we need to times 3 then the iron need to times 2 so this is a balanced chemical equation okay next question uh, yeah given the table there are two types of halogen y2 and z2 let's see the observation for y2 it burns brightly for z2 is close dimly meaning that you have to know record down this one is less reactive lah. okay compared to y2 okay. compare the reactivity of halogens y2 and z2 with hot iron wool explain your answer so here five marks ah, five marks means you need to write five points Okay, so just the answer. Okay, so halogen Y2 is more reactive than halogen, halogen Z2. Okay, why? Because you need to explain. Okay, atom Z has bigger atomic size uh, compared to atom Y okay compared to Y so attraction force between nucleus and electrons uh, is weaker then y okay so what is the consequences so it is more difficult to attract electron to achieve stable or tech electron arrangement Okay. Yeah. So the Y is more reactive compared to Z. Okay. Halogen Y2 is a greenish yellow uh, gas. Uh, greenish yellow gas meaning that it is a chlorine gas. Uh. Okay, so when it react with sodium, it produces a solid A. When it reacts with hydrogen gas, it forms a gas B. So suggest a halogen Y2. So explain your why the uh, compound A and B has different boiling and uh, different melting and boiling point. Eh? Okay, why? So here is Okay, six marks here. So what should we write uh, in this essay question? Okay, so just the answer. So Y2 is chlorine. Okay, because of the colors. Uh. So cl chlorine it reacts with sodium okay it will form to form sodium chloride okay so this is the strong uh, ionic compound uh, and ionic compound 
is formed so it has with strong electrostatic force okay between the ion right okay so a lot of heat is needed to overcome the strong electrostatic force okay so meanwhile when the chlorine react with hydrogen eh? okay so chlorine reacts with hydrogen Okay, you have forms two forms hydrogen chloride. Okay, so hydrogen chloride gas is actually is a uh, covalent compound. Eh? Okay, covalent compound. Okay, with Weak van der Waals force, eh? okay, or what we also can call it intermolecular force. Okay, so in under this co uh, covalent compound, okay, so less heat energy is needed. To overcome the weak intermolecular force. Okay, so that's why the melting and boiling point for the covalent compound is lower than the ionic compound.